It is the cause. It is the cause, my soul. She must die. Then she'll betray more men. Put out the light! Prison's everything you think it is. Same old, same old, every day. Prison is not a nice place to be, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. There's nothing to actually look forward to because you know what's going to happen. It's a waste of time. But for some inmates determined to make the most of their time in Brixton Prison, it's warm up. They're taking part in a unique new project, the Dream Factory, the first professional drama school in a UK prison. They're about to stage a production of Shakespeare's Othello. Darren is playing the lead. I've been in prison now nearly a year. They take away all the good stuff. You're away from your family and, you know, friends. They also take away your hope. The Dream Factory gives you what institutions take away from you. It gives you hope, it gives you confidence, it gives you belief, because it makes you feel worth it. You go in the Dream Factory, ultimately, you're free, your mind's free. One, two, three. The man behind the Dream Factory is theatre director Bruce Wall. He runs the London Shakespeare Workout, a charity that has worked with 3,000 inmates in 42 prisons in the last year alone. Bruce believes Shakespeare can play an active role in prisoner rehabilitation. By drugs. For people stripped of a vote, their societal voice, the idea that they can own Shakespeare, that they can feel Shakespeare, is absolutely palpable. Hey, you've got a sonnet uh, written by a group of guys. Um, on the inmates will Othello. perform Othello to the public in just two weeks' time, and most of the actors are not familiar with Shakespeare. Popularised by Petrarch's poetry, developed in the 14th century. A sonnet is Today, a Bruce has enlisted the help of professional actors Gail yes, Hunnicutt and Patterson Joseph. Yeah, thank you. No, it's great. It's a kind of actor's trick. It's to make it sound like you're just saying the first thing that comes to your mind. The quality of mercy is not straight. And the power of Shakespeare is he paints with words. Have I not hideous death? within my view. Keep, keep that going. Relax into it. Why should I be what you want me to be? Do you want to try it again? Do you want to do it again? Ah, oh, it's amazing. It's kind of remarkable what human beings can achieve, you know, despite their environment. And this is one of those pictures. These are, this is a snapshot of su survival, but not just survival, survival and elevation. They've just taken themselves out of this prison into another world. She'll wait. Or will I lie and stay away, knowing she loves me? The inmates perform their own helped. sonnets. The idea lie. is that through writing, they can understand and own Shakespeare for themselves. Guilty I am, if ever love's a crime. Only time's length might tear us two apart. I'm shocked that I'm at that stage where I, I understand Shakespeare. I'm shocked that I can use his language to create a, my own original writing. Staging a performance in the prison environment is a logistical challenge. The rehearsal schedule must fit around the prison regime. And Bruce is struggling to get his cast together. Look, if people come down for the education and they're ready to go to their classes, why are people not down? Yes, this you don't understand. You're not living on g -Man. You're not living there. The showers this morning were rammed, packed. The difficulties are always in any prison extreme because you're dealing in a situation which is fundamentally about security. In an average rehearsal week you get eight hour days, six days in a full week. These lads will have had under one week rehearsal. With time running out, patience is wearing thin. The way I speak, if you want me to pronounce the T, I have to take a break after haste. Just two lines. Make it sound without stopping. Think, think. 
Because if I do that, you're going to say to me, haste, haste, Darren, I think we should be careful where we put anger. Again, it's thinking, isn't it? Tell him. Yeah, yeah. Haste, despite. Okay, that's better. Okay. That's the same. I think we need to go, I'm afraid. It's a difficult project, and without the active support of the present governor, it wouldn't be possible. It's often said that devil make work for idle hands, and in prison that sadly is, is all too true. Um, but here within the Dream Factory, we've got people who have got um, something to focus on. It takes them away from all the nefarious activities that sadly are around in a prison situation. This is an environment where control is key for the, for the officers. Yes. I mean, and I think we're all in unison here when I say, for these like 9 o'clock till 11.30 when we go back to lunch, and when we come back here at 2 and then go back at 4 o'clock, we're free. Naked in bed! It is but a venial slip. It is hypocrisy against the devil. Back in the dream factory, there's just three days to go until curtain up. She may, I think, be it on any man. She is protectress of her honor too. It'd be hard to get it like right for Monday, but I think, you know, Bruce knows what he's doing, so hopefully it should be alright. We did a run through yesterday, which remarkably was more or less on time and remarkably held together for a first run-through uh, quite well, which in this environment is a miracle. But does the miracle extend beyond the prison walls? Ex-inmate Fabian, playing Iago, spent six months in Brixton on remand before his release last December. The Dream Factory actually saved me, helped me in a big way. It got me out of my cell. It kept my mind working. Because I joined the Dream Factory, I don't actually regret going to prison. In fact, he's going back daily to finish his year-long vocational training and gain an equity card. It's the first time this has been allowed in a UK prison. How poor are they that have not patience? A lot of people that get released from prison, they're homeless, they've got nowhere to go. They've got no job, so there's no means of making any money. So they just slip straight back into prison. Not me. Love me! Reward me! Shakespeare! It's opening night. The inmates prepare for their performance. Tonight we are going to do Othello. Well, a version of Othello called Blacking Iogo. As the hundred strong audience make their way to the theatre, the actors leave the wing. Yeah, we're ready for it. We're ready, we're ready for it. We're ready. Fong, you promise me you'll not fall asleep in the back of the I've made sure, I've made sure I'm not going to be... Let's go get oh, the business, show. Beware, my lord, of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on. Oh. Why is this? A lot of emotions in his plays. And I think that people in prisons are very emotional people. They don't know how to let it out, and let it out in the wrong way. And that's why they end up in there. Well, I think performing arts inside a prison can help. It is the cause. Yet, how much should I have loved? Shakespeare is bright and he's timeless. And we can relate to what Shakespeare writes about. There's a lot of tragedy and love and jealousy, and, and that's very evident today, especially with people in confined institutions. She must die, and she'll betray more men. Put out the light! That's what makes it all work for, you know? That's, that's this right. is what we work for, isn't it? The performance, that's the right. line, so to, to see the audience reaction makes, makes what we do all work for. It is always a struggle, but the adversity somehow makes it even more worthwhile. The hope is that in the long term, the Dream Factory will reduce reoffending rates, and Brixton Prison is evaluating the ongoing project. <laughs>